Hello, Elliot. You seem to be doing quite well, considering it's been days since you've had your shots. I suppose you're here to kill me. At least tell me why. We can't afford to have this information leak out to the public now, can we? He's a neurologist. How'd he slip through your fingers? Evidently, he had some inside help. Once Victor went ghost, Project Boost got shut down. I'm just here to simply tie up some loose ends. By killing the guinea pig. I'm sorry. I'm just following orders. <laughs> you probably think, since I haven't had my injections for the last couple of days, that my abilities would be hindered. Hate to break it to you, but Christmas came early. That was a really riveting story. Unfortunately, you're missing a few key points. Like, Victor stabilizing the serum so that users won't have to keep injecting themselves. Also, when Victor found out about Division's plans, that's when he went into hiding. But, you were right about one thing. Someone did help him from the inside. You. And now Division knows it too. And we've come to an understanding. I find Victor, and I get that serum. You can do what you want. I won't talk. Oh, I never had any intention of you talking. You see, you're the one being set up. I'm the one tying up loose ends. Sorry. Just following orders. Yeah. You all right? Yeah, no, I'm I'm good. I just <laughs> I forgot how much I ate running, you know? <laughs> Man. So hey, how's uh how's Adrian doing? He just got back from the army, right? Yeah, he's been back for a while now. Man, I haven't seen that guy in ages. How's he doing? I couldn't tell you. We're not exactly on speaking terms right now. Seriously? What happened? It's complicated. Huh. It, uh, doesn't have anything to do with you and Nora, does it? Me and Nora? What? You know, this, this rift between the two of you? It's got something to do with you and Nora, right? What are you insinuating? Nothing. I'm just... I'm just saying that, you know, I've seen the way she looks at you when the two of you are together, and... Alright, look, I hate to ask, but... Have you and Nora ever... Of course not. <laughs> I would never do that. Look, nothing is going on between me and Nora, alright? Not now, not ever. Alright, alright, if, if you say so. So, uh, so who's Natalie then? None of your business. Look, are we gonna sit around all day or are we gonna continue running? Man, look, you can sit, you can run, break dance, do whatever, all right? But I'm pretty sure I pulled something, so I'm gonna head home. But listen, I mean, if you want my advice, 
Adrian just got back from three years overseas. And if you ask me, he's lucky to be home at all. Now the two of you lost your parents early, right? So all you really have is each other. Don't let a girl get in the way of that. Just call the man. Hey, Adrian, it, it's me. Listen, I know we're not really speaking to one another right now, but I think we should meet and talk about some things. Just give me a call when you get this, all right? Later. Status. Sir, we lost him. Forget him. Aldra gave him a concentrated dose. He doesn't have long. We're moving forward. You wanted to see me, sir? I want an update. We ran a background check on the younger brother, sir. He's been charged with a few minor offenses in the past year. Nothing too serious, but he's had his run-ins with the law on multiple accounts. That isn't useful, Sid. Well, he has no permanent address, but he's been staying at a motel on Ninth Line for a couple days now. He's alone. Good. Or Mr. Wallace escaped us this evening. I think the first thing he's going to do is warn his little brother about us. That can't happen. Pay him a visit. Yes, sir. Sydney, might I suggest you change into something more suitable? Okay. 